I I'll get I need coffee. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a tag. It's from Andrea's Life, which you can always find. I um like you know put smaller YouTubers that I'm watching in my comment section. I think you know it's good. Um, and it's called the smaller YouTube tag, and it is. Seven questions. Yay for seven questions. Number one, what made you want to start YouTube? Well, I don't know. I, I kind of just stumbled into it. I My first video <laughs> was about my Mr. Coffee Pot. Uh, that I was like pretty pretty unhappy about it. <laughs> so uh, when, you know, the, the a couple, two or three guys broke off from PayPal. This was long ago on the internet. Yeah, you know, they, YouTube was like, for creative expression and Pretty much anything you wanted. So I felt that this was a good platform for me to explain about my the engineering aspects of my brand new Mr. Coffee Pot. I never looked at it. I will I will actually look at it because I will link it in the comment section. Um I might try pinning some of the stuff I want you to know because I it seems like people can't figure out where the comment section is so that and then after that it just kind of organically grown that I would you know I was an older youtuber which I thought needed to be represented and I'm pretty opinionated person <laughs> Number two, what is the video you are most proud of? Oh man, that's a toss up. Between Chris Ann, um, the poem I read to her and her newly husband after they got married. It's kind of like my wedding present to them. But I think the one I enjoyed the most was Cindy had said that she had watched this woman make a bag out of a placemat. And so I thought, well, I'll take the challenge on. So I made a bag on camera. You know, only watched it enough to know that I had the right stuff for it. And made it. And I didn't know what to do with it. And somebody said, either put all your medicine in it or your makeup and it has since been my medicine bag which was very nice when I broke my hip my son just had to run back by my bed and grab it and I could take all my medicines with me because I'm on a lot do you struggle with social media I think at the beginning of the pandemic, I personally was watching way too much. I was watching sailing videos, and I don't know if I stated this yet, but during the pandemic, or st still, I learned something new each week. Um, like I wanted to know why, you know, Borland got um, a Nobel Prize for genetically modifying food when people say don't buy genetically modified food. It's like I should do a whole video on what I learned. Uh, what content creator inspires you the most? Well, in the beginning it was 
Philly D. Philip DeFranco. Um, I have to take my hat off to Casey Neistat, which is just a wonderful filmmaker, but he was a filmmaker, then got into doing YouTube videos, and I believe is now going back toward filmmaking. He, you know, I have to mention him. It's like an honorable mention. But Philip DeFranco used to be Philly D, and he had a vlogging channel. And even before that, because he had, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, at S-X-E, Phil. And <laughs> it's probably the first YouTube video I ever saw. Um, he did about my girlfriend or to my girlfriend. Um, it's a song. And if I can find it, because I'm sure he's taken it down. But if there's always somebody who will re-upload something. So if I can find that, I will put it down below. But it is a dirty song. Um, but I like the way he just honestly just vlogged. And he vlogged his every day. His wife vlogged for a while. Um, Lindsay. Um, and I just really like the 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 organic and honest videos they made. So let's see. What frustrates you about other creators? I just don't know that I have any. I mean, if I don't like a creator, I don't. I don't. I just don't watch them. Um, probably the, the things that I can tell you I notice right off is when the music's too loud while they're trying to talk. Um, but I, I, I have no comment because if I don't like them, I don't watch them. And I think that's the way you should be. What frustrates you about your channel? Probably YouTube's algorithm. The almighty algorithm. Because it's not only watches, likes, and now it's also comments. People need to comment. And I'm not a big commenter. Except on channels I really, really like. I'll give them always a thumbs up. I never give thumbs down. I just turn the video off. It's just, I, I just don't. I, I think most creators, um, small, especially smaller creators, take it to heart. And you, you can't please everybody. This is not going to happen. Let's see, what motivates you to make content? Um... Probably just sharing my life as a regular person. I mean, um, I'm an artist. So, I mean, there are, th like, I really like making videos about when I take, you know, your black pants start to turn a little gray, but they're really in good shape. Why well, just I am black again? <laughs> I like to make videos about things I do, but also just about my life. Um, and, and some of it, I must tell you, is to document my life for my grandchildren. Um, so if they're, that would probably be my motivation in the long run, um, is my grandchildren. I want them to be able to look back and see not only me, but themselves. I'm hoping that they're still going to want, I'm seeing my grandchildren again, and I'm hoping that they'll still want to be, but they're of an age that they may just totally choose for themselves. Well, thank you, Andrea. Anyone who wants to do this tag, feel free. Um, it's kind of a fun tag. I'm th oh, the 
can't remove them. I'm thinking about going back and doing some of the tags that I did years ago to see how different they are now. I don't know, maybe I'll do a Tag Tuesday or something. <laughs> well, again, thank you, Andrea. That's Andrea's Life. The link, I'll, I'll pin the link this time. I have a couple um, smaller YouTubers. I have Jamie in New, in New England, I believe. Um, she does box opening clothing and stuff. I just really like her. I mean, I like her as just a person. Um, because you know me, really fashionable. If it's not, I, I mean, I, sh I actually have gray on today. But normally it's just black and black. Easy. I really like monochromatic dressing. But you might want to give her a, a, a look. I think she's just... She's a librarian. I think she's really kind of cool. Uh, and she does like, you know, what I wear to work every day. In one video, she does like a week's worth of clothing in one day. She does, you know, like stitch fitch and stick, stitch fix, <laughs> stick fitch. Um, yeah, I just, I like her. But again, I really love the organic nature of certain people. That they just, you know, they're just fun to watch. Well, again, thank you, Andrea. I love you. And I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. See you next one. Bye-bye.